Hi everybody, Jim from the Maker Hive here. I have a copy of Simi CNC's brand new EZR extruder and I wanted to show you what it's all about. If you're not familiar with the original EZ extruder, this is what it is. Uh, it's got a pivoting spring mechanism that moves the idler bearing onto the drive mechanism. You can see that there's a hobbed gear right there. Um, it's very, very simple. It's got uh, a low parts count. There's two pieces in the lower half and then besides the arm, two pieces in the upper half, uh, drive wheel, a spring, and then screws that hold it all together. On the bottom, you can put in one of these aluminum adapters to go to a PTC fitting for a Bowden tube, or if you had a J-head or an E3D, something like that, and you're doing direct drive, you could chuck it in right here. So that's the easy extruder. There are a lot of these out there in the wild, especially if you've got a CME CNC printer. Uh, it's been standard equipment for a year or two, and uh, they've served us all well. So, the brand new model, the EZR, it builds on that original design. Um, several things are different about it. Most noticeably, it uses a slide mechanism instead of a pivot mechanism to put tension on the drive roller. Um, you can see the springs in here. You can also see the spring from the back side a little bit. So, uh, it's a more linear thing. I believe that there is a uh, higher preload on the spring. It does get squished a little bit more, so there's going to be more tension to make up for the leverage that we used to have on the EZ extruder. The other thing that this does uh, lowers the parts count dramatically. There's one solid black piece, there's one solid clear piece, and then there's the slide mechanism and that's it. There's three pieces besides the spring and the rollers and, and things like that. Uh, another thing that I like, the output adapter has changed. Instead of being a threaded PTC connector, it's this, you can see that there's a, a brass insert and, and this plastic collet ring that goes in. Um, another thing that's very, very different is the Bowden tube goes through that connector and up almost all the way to the drive roller here. Um, that means that you're going to have a low friction filament path. It's also a very constrained filament path. And that's the other great thing about this. If I open it up a little bit, you can see there's a, a curve right here by the drive roller. It's supported, uh, or the filament is supported rather, all the way up to where the hob gear is and where the idler is. So there's not going to be room for a flexible filament to squish out of the way or to bind up. Uh, this is common with things like nylon too. I know I've had some problems with bridge material being just a little bit too flexible. Uh, so if you ever venture into those TPEs, semi-flexes, that kind of a material, uh, this is definitely the extruder for you. Other improvements, uh, it's much easier to load the filament on top. That was always kind of a guessing game before and, and easy to get wrong. Much simpler now. Um, the other thing that uh, is interesting about this is the way that this adapter for the Bowden tube is, uh, it's a different shape than before. Previously we had a round piece and it was the same as an E3D hot end uh, or again like your J-head hot end, uh, I believe the Buddha is that way. Lots and lots of different hot ends use this groove mount. This style is uh, got some flats on each side and so you can grab it with a wrench. Um, I've seen it also, this is a piece out of the brand new hot end. Uh, the hot end screws together around the circuit board that has the accelerometer in it, and, and that's why that piece is that way. So, not quite as universal as the previous versions, but um, definitely great for standard equipment on the machines, and, and for anybody like us that's still using a Bowden tube, this is the fitting you want anyway, so who cares what the adapter is. So, in review, um, it's a linear mechanism instead of a pivoting mechanism. Filament path is supported uh, much, much more than it was before. It's got the Bowden fitting, and the Bowden tube actually goes through the fitting. Uh, there's a ramp so that you can load your filament a little bit easier, and it's a reduced part count. Um, if you didn't assume this by looking at the other parts of it, these are the same dimensions for the mount hole, so it is a direct replacement. Um, it even appears to use the same gear, so I think you'll be able to use the same steps per millimeter that you're already using, and it'll just be a direct replacement uh, with improvements for your existing easy extruder. So, um, give you a couple of views of the dimensions of it and, and the different sides of it in case you didn't see those yet. There's the top, of course. The side is, is rather enclosed. You don't need to service it or anything like that through the side. Um, speaking of that, you can reach the uh, little set screw for the drive roller. I found that the easiest way to reach it is actually kind of down and from an angle. It's not hollow and, and through it like the easy extruder was. So easier to access. Um, only two parts to it. 
again that's the new Bowden adapter brass insert with a little collet clip and it's a, a sliding tension mechanism that uses a spring so that's the EZR in the next video we'll hook it up and let you know how it squirts plastic